right, coming to you right now, sitting down all casual, like checking out his smartphone, ready to rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my friend, Mr. Larry Hernandez. Awesome. Uh, awesome, thank you. Uh, thanks for the class. Uh, I actually just recently started a match.com and uh, I started a profile. Actually, just my hand holding a match. And my profile name is where all the other matches. Yeah. No, actually, I, I, I don't have a match.com, but it's not because I don't think they work. I think they work for some people. I just don't trust any picture of a girl being super happy after she's relieved herself. Maybe that's stupid. <laughs> uh, actually, I went to Abbot Burger the other day. Have you guys ever been to Abbot Burger? You guys ever been there? Nobody? No? Okay. Just me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I went to Abbot Burger and I ordered a char burger. Yeah, it was my first time ordering a char burger. I went in there and got it. I took one bite and I took it back to the cashier. And she said, was there anything wrong with the burger? Why, why are you returning it? And I said, no, ma'am, there's nothing wrong with it. I just can't afford any habits right now. <laughs> uh, I go I go to big and tall stores a lot. I go shopping there. And I know it doesn't, it doesn't look like that. that's the size of clothes I wear. But uh, I go shopping there a lot. And I, I like to freak people out all the time. So I'll like wear the big and tall clothes outside of fries and douse myself in water. And I'll like sprint towards the door and be like, oh my god, I'm melting. <laughs> so that people out. Uh, sorry if you're offended. Uh, you guys ever uh, try to be a hero? And sometimes I try to be a hero. I call those uh, lost dog poster sounds. Uh, I usually call them and I'll be like, hey, I found this dog. And I'll text him a picture of a bull mastiff. And I'll be like, is that your bitch? <laughs> A lot of times I'll say no because I usually only call chihuahuas. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, I, I used to have a Dalmatian. I love my Dalmatian so much. I used to go running on Tempe Town Lake with my Dalmatian like all the time. And people would come up to me, they'd be like, oh my god, is that a Dalmatian? Like seriously, is that like 101 Dalmatians? And I'd be like, yeah, I mean, what other dog do you know that looks like that? I mean, there's a whole movie about him. Why are you asking such an obvious question? And so I got tired of telling people yes all the time. So this lady and her daughter finally came up to me and she was so enthused and so excited. She was like, oh my God, is that a Dalmatian? Like, I'm so excited, I've never seen a Dalmatian in my life. And I saw the cartoon when it first came out, I'm so excited. And I said, I'm sorry, man, it's actually not a Dalmatian, but it's a chocolate lab and it's the same disease as Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I thought that was mean. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about stereotypes the other day, and maybe it's because I'm Mexican and I was sitting in the back of a pickup truck, <laughs> holding myself down with a water hose. I was going up and down those hills in Scottsdale. <laughs> yeah, uh, here's another stereotype for you. Um, I was doing some yard work the other day. <laughs> And I just felt this wet drop hit my face. And I know it wasn't raining because there's no clouds, nothing was out there. I didn't want to wipe it off because it could have been like something from a plane. Maybe it fell and hit me and I could sue. But, you know, I went inside and I looked at the mirror and it was just this white dot right under my eye. I was like, what the hell, is that bird shit? And it was bird shit. But I looked in the mirror and I was thinking about it and I was like, wow, that's, that's really some gangster shit. It's around to get that. Life's hard for me. Sometimes life's soft. It just depends on when you pour the milk. I don't like to eat my cereal soggy. You guys don't like my cereal. Uh, another burger joke. I was actually ordering a burger at a restaurant and I was in line 
you know, staring at this guy's wife. And he just comes over and he decks me in the face, just out of nowhere. And I guess it's because I was looking with my hands. <laughs> Not with my eyes. That's how I deserve it. <laughs> uh, sometimes I have amazing dreams. Like, I have really amazing dreams. Like, I can think of dreams that I have and I just come up with jokes and just wake up and I'll write a joke in my iPhone. And uh, I actually had a joke for you guys, and, 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 but it was actually in my dream. I had an iPhone 6 and not the iPhone 5 that I have now. So it wasn't the right phone. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, this is my first time here. I'm pretty excited. Jim Dale's got me out here. I'm pretty, it's pretty awesome to be here. I'm glad that you guys are here. That's pretty cool. Um, but I don't know if you guys actually know what MESA stands for, but it's actually Mexicans entering surrounding areas. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew that. This is also where Sheriff Joe's headquarters are. I think they're right down the street, like right over there by Home Depot. Uh, it's kind of ironic. <laughs> yeah, but I, I get nervous driving up here. I, I actually, I've been sick for like the past five days. I got nervous driving up here. And uh, finally feeling good again. And uh, I drove up here and my car was just, I was just braking the whole time. And I actually had to get somebody else to drive me home and I'm have to walk. Because, you know, I'm scared of Sheriff Joe. <laughs> uh, and when, whenever I walk places, I always walk in the bicycle lane. Like, I always walk to stores in the bicycle lane. A lot of times people honk at me and they're like, hey dude, what are you doing in the street? And one time this cop came up to me and he's like, um, son, what are you doing in the street? Like, this is really dangerous. What are you doing? And I said, I'm sorry, officer, but my bike was stolen three days ago, and I'm just reminiscing. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, a little bit more. Uh, everyone's really supporting small businesses. This is the one I'm going to hand down for you guys, because I'm really into supporting small businesses. But I'm Mexican, so I only support Mexican small businesses. So I kind of have like a stockpile of tamales in my freezer <laughs> and my backyard is full of oranges and I don't have any orange trees. Um, so if you guys want any oranges or tamales, just hit me up. I'm working on a rose guy I'm trying to get one of those. All right, guys, thanks. Thanks for that. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs>